and we're back with me in my little kitchen. I'm making portobello mushrooms today, and my name is Tamara. Today we're making a very simple appetizer, very flavorful though. This is my theme though, I don't have much time in the kitchen, but I like to cook with flavor, so. Here we have portobello mushroom. First thing we're going to do is list our ingredients. We've got that beautiful mushroom. I've got some sundried tomatoes, some lime juice, balsamic vinegar, and some roasted pepper. Earlier we had some garlic and we've already sauteed that. So we're going to take this portobello mushroom and we're going to de-stem it. Which is easy. And we're going to put it in a hot skillet with some olive oil. So let's assume this pan was hot. We would put some olive oil in there. It's about two tablespoons worth of olive oil. Make sure you give it that about 30 seconds to let it get hot. And you're going to place your portobello mushroom in there, and you're going to cover it for about two or three minutes. Make sure that flame is on low, by the way. Two or three minutes later, this is what it's going to look like. And as mentioned earlier, you had garlic. So you took about two cloves of garlic. You put that in the pan after the heat was turned off. Let that lightly saute in the olive oil, and then put it on top of the mushroom. Just cook it just a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of lime juice on top, just a dash. Okay, then I'm going to set this aside and grab my feta cheese. Feta cheese is, I don't think I mentioned that earlier, this is definitely part of the ingredients. Just picked this up fresh today from the deli, as you can tell. I've got some French feta cheese here. You can use whichever kind you'd like. I like French. I'm cutting three slivers of this, which is going to be about one quarter of a cup. I'm going to use my hands for this and just crumble it right on top of the mushroom. Make sure to get it on the mushroom and then on the sides of it as well. Okay. Done with that. Keep your hands clean. Let's swap those back out again. I'm going to add our sun-dried tomatoes. I purchased the sun dried tomatoes that are already julienne because it makes them too much easier. And they're dried. I didn't get mine in water. Or, excuse me, I did not get mine in oil. I got mine in water. And now they're dry. So I'm just going to chop those up real quick. Got about two tablespoons worth here. And I'm going to put that on top. Okay, then I'm going to add some fresh cilantro. Just a few sprigs here. and coarse, so that you can see all the colors, nice and bright. Okay, ah, looks gorgeous. And then I'm going to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. You can use a balsamic reduction if you'd like, but it's not necessary. Just a little splash on top to give it some flavor. And a little bit more lime juice, and you're done. Now, you can also serve this as a hot appetizer. What you'd want to do at that point is put this in a salamander before you put the, part the cilantro on or put it in your boiler. And you're going to let the feta cheese just get nice and toasty, a little brownness on top, and then it's going to be done. Then you'd want to add your cilantro and your balsamic vinegar. So enjoy. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. And you can serve this with a garden salad or maybe some fresh seasonal vegetables. And enjoy. See you next time.